we are here with, uh, with Greg Davidson. Um, we're blessed to have him on this stage. He travels and does things with Upward. Uh, we know him through you know, soccer and baseball and all that, but he doesn't do the sports thing. He uses illusion to uh, capture people's audience, and he's extremely uh, driven by salvations. So let's welcome Greg Davison to the set. Amen. Yay. Thank you, brother. Shake the hand. Amen. All right. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what you do and, and uh, how you got into it. Well, uh, okay, I'll tell you how I got into it very quickly because that's sort of a long story that uh, we'd need another program for. I started very early in uh, studying theatrical illusion and music and uh, all things fun like that. And uh, got into uh, doing that professionally very early, I actually allowed to be uh, working professionally when I was 13. I grew up in Canada, which was not my fault, my parents lived there, and uh, I didn't drive all that well when I was six, but um, I was professional very, very early, and then was uh, able to go out and study and do different kinds of venues, ending up in things like uh, cruise ships and hotels and casinos and reviews, and uh, then moved into a corporate market eventually, and then uh, heard God calling me to a, a much stronger and much more eternal promise and purpose. And so that's, uh, that's what I started listening to. Oddly enough, I was in uh, Las Vegas when God started calling me, and I'm not saying that you know God's never in Vegas, um, he but did. he started calling me up and I started listening and uh, and uh, so we moved forward pretty quickly and uh, we came to the conclusion that God was calling me to do something that I was really really uh, set up to do all along so here we are That's real effective incredible. tool now your ministry is called believe Ministries. Believe ministries right uh, I made the mistake because we all have probably do it we don't call it illusion we call it magic because we're trained from a little child to this magic um, but yours is more of a, a believing uh, you tie it in with the salvation and the gospel. Uh, we are so Christ focused and we're all about leading people to Christ. We don't yeah. just go to an area and do an event mm -hmm. because someone has a, a need for a fun night or whatever, although it is fun. Uh, we, we really, really try to give tools to the, to the churches and the communities that they can use, not only to, to organize the event so it'll be the most spectacular and, and great uh, event that it can be, but also with tools to, to uh, follow up so the harvest can be great as well. So that's what we're really about, although it's, um, we're doing a lot of fun entertainment with music yeah. and magical illusions and multimedia. It's really not about a magic show. It's all about Jesus it's Christ. It's all about you. You driving it to a, a that's, certain point. That's right. And there's a sector of uh, of people that um, that really will come to see an illusionist because they've never seen one live. Mm -hmm. They see things on television all the time. And they say, "Wow, I bet you if I saw that live, I could figure that out." And then so mm -hmm. they come to see a live show. And we let people know that it is a Christian program, but somehow a lot of especially visual learners can see an illusion or see a little illustration. A lot of the things are not really like, you know, intended to like fool you right. as much as they are to illustrate a point. And although a lot of them are, are pretty tricky, that's uh, our, our intent is not to go in there and say, hey, you know, we know something that you don't know. Right. And that makes you less. We go in and say, look, we know something that's really, really fun, and we want to share it and have you share it with us. And by the way, this is why it's also bigger than that. That's beautiful. You know, cause I love this because, you know, you, you normally, it, the magic, uh, somebody produces magic, you look at that person and you think, wow, and you think you're so, wow, they can do that. But yours is more of, Look what God That's uses right. me That's to exactly do. That's exactly right. I think it's so awesome too because I know our son Lincoln is eight, and he's really the last probably year or so really gotten into this stuff. He just pulled a coin out of my ear in the dressing room. I know, room. right out of your ear. <laughs> I know. But it's just neat to have somebody like you doing a ministry like this that we could feel like, you know, it's okay. Lincoln, it's okay. It is, it is yeah. okay. And, you know, many, many people um, have a, a connotation about magic because the Bible clearly warns against magic. And I'm just going to say, I mean, if you're watching this and you think that the magic the Bible is warning against is a guy linking two steel rings together, <laughs> you need a vacation. Because yeah, that, you know, that, that's not what it's, it's about. Yeah. Not just hundreds of people this year, thousands of people come to Christ not because of me, or not because of Believe Ministries, or not because of because there's some reason that they go and that's the day for them. And I know that because that day happened to me. I know it can happen.